In this video, I'm showing all the Tkinter TK widgets that are available by default in Python. So first we are going to create the main window, set the background color, the title of that window, the window of the app, the geometry, and the icon of the application. Then we set the window to not be sizable. The first widget is the pattern widget we created by simply calling pattern. We defined the master, then the, we set the text to this is a button. We defined a background color and the foreground color. Then we placed the button using the Create Layout Manager. So for the main window, we are going for now using the Create Layout Manager to position the widget on that window. The second widget is the Canvas widget. We created also by calling Canvas. We defined the width and the height and a background color beside the master we use also the grade layout we we put it on column one then we create an oval and we added a text to that canva the text is this is a can this is canva then a check button the third widget is a check button we call the check button function we define the background color the text and we place it also using the grade layout manager now we are defining or creating an entry widget, but before we define the same variable with the value, this is an entry, and then we associated this string variable to the entry widget. Now we are creating a frame, calling it a frame, call using the by calling frame. So the master is the main window, we define the background color, the width and the height. And we uh, use the create layout manager, but now we are creating a label that will belong to the frame. This is why the master is the frame created previously. And we placed it using another layout manager, the place layout manager, by specifying the x and the y positions. After that, we created the label frame. So the label frame is a frame with a label. This is why it has the property text. This is a label frame. The following widget is the list box. We added the background color and the width, and we inserted values to that list box, items to the list. The first item is this is a list box. Second one is this is another list item. Then we called grid. Now we are creating a menu. This is the menu bar available in the app, or we can see uh, from the app. It will contain two sub menus. The first menu is created as the menu bar with the menu by calling menu so to add the sub menu to the main menu we call add cascade the first sub menu is called file or has the file label and we added options to that sub menu with uh, by calling add command the second sub menu has the label help and we also added option to it using add command and we added it to the main menu, menu by calling add cascade the second or the following widget is the menu button so we added the text and the background color and then we added element to that menu button by calling the menu so we call the menu and to create a menu and we added option to that menu choice one and choice two then we added that menu to our menu button the following widget is a message it's like a label widget but not entirely the same and we placed it using the create layout manager now we are using creating another widget we first defined values and then we defined another same variable and the we created the widgets called option menu that will have the values created val1 from val1 to val5 now we are creating another widget the paint window in that window we specified first the width the height the background color and the, the option to show the handle to be true then we called the grade now we are working on the row one row one and uh, we defined another int variable this int variable are, is going to be linked to another widget the red u button that will be placed later in that paint window so the first a button has the 
text edu button inside the paint window and it's linked with the integer variable or the int var that we created. The second edu button also linked to the same int var created but has a different value than the previous one and uh, it has the value 2 and it has its own background color. Then to add the radio button to the paint window, we added we called the add method or the add function, the add method. Now we have the scale widget. We defined the minimum value equal to zero, the maximum value equal to five, and the tick interval equal to one. The following widget is scroll bar. This is not the best way to create a scroll bar, but it's just to show a scroll bar and its uh, function or its functionality we linked it to a list box the list box created earlier so when we scroll the scroll bar it will scroll in the list box for the list box we added other values so 100 values we inserted them to the list box so the so to see the work of the scroll bar the following widget is the spin box minimum value zero maximum value five and we add it simply using to get the the last widget is the text widget has we set the property warp to the word and then we called get and we insert text to that widget now if we run the code or if you run the code you can see all the widgets that are available by default in tk tkinter so this is the button, this is the menu created, this is the file submenu and the help submenu with their options. This is the Canva, this is the chat button. This is an entity, we can enter text to that widget. And this is a label frame, this is a frame and the label, and a label frame and the list box. This is the values added to the list box. This is the menu button, we choice one and choice two. This is the message created. This is the option menu with values from val1 to val5. Now this is the radio button, radio buttons inside the paint window. And this is the scale widget. This is a scroll bar that we linked to the, our list box. This is the spin box. And finally, this is the text widget in which we can add text as we did for the anti widget. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.